What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to be telling you the 10 things you need to do in Dar es Salaam. Ask me why am I telling you only in Dar es Salaam because uh, I think most of you know that I already did the video that the things or the places that you should visit in Tanzania in general. So be sure to check that video if you haven't checked it out. Check it out in my check it out on our channel and be sure to subscribe because more videos like this, the ones that are detailed are coming up. So today I just started with the rest of them. I will be doing for Tanga, I'll be doing for Moshe and all and all and all and the places to stay if you're interested. So be sure to subscribe and suggest me if you have another suggestion. Just suggest me down below. Yeah, and let's get started. So the things to do in Dar es Salaam by starting Kariako Market. Yes, you heard me correct. The places that you should revisit is Kariako Market. If you haven't known, Kariako is known for its theft and for its cheap things. Actually, it has also other good things. I'm just saying the bad part, right? Let's get to the good part. The good part is that it has a lot of things and a lot of options. So you can choose for yourself if you know something that you actually want. That means you're gonna get it. But one of the things that I really realized about Karako, it's uh, for foreigners, you should really be actually okay because you're not gonna be like segregated. They're kind of friendly people. So I think there are a lot of more advantages. Though I did talk about Karako in my video, so you should check that out, the video about Karako. I'm not gonna talk so much, but I'm just gonna tell you, in Karako, you go there and you're finding a lot of things over there. Not more of the animals, it's just the market, so you should know that you're going to get the things to see how the way people interact and all that stuff. We have all it's very famous Karako, so you should visit. I think that's all I could tell you about Karako. If you want more details, check on my video. Now the second part is Mbudia Island. Also, I did a video about Mbudia Island, but I'm gonna give you short details. For those guys who are interested, be sure to have your 20 US dollars in your pocket because that's the transportation. And another pro tip, oh my god, another pro tip that you should know, do not use Oh my god, what am I about to say? Do not use uh, the hotels to go to Mbodi Island. That's just the truth. I'm sorry for those guys who will be biased about this. You can just use the local people there and they'll be helping you out to go to Mbodi Island. They have a local boat. You're going to pay almost 20,000 Tanzanian shillings, which is almost around, uh, if it's not 15 to 10 US dollars compared to you're paying 50 or 40 US dollars for those guys who are coming from the big hotels. Now, if you're actually looking for your shares travel, yeah, go ahead and use that money for yourself. But if you're not, then here's the way, which is actually cheap. And there are so many other ways that you can use to go there. Be sure to check my video because I have every details for you and every detail for you. So be sure to check that out. Now, the third thing is Kazim Zumbu Hugu. If you haven't known, Dar es Salaam is a big city. Yeah, big by name. I didn't mean big by big by geography. But geography, Dar es Salaam is very small. Compared to Pwani, I think Pwani is kind of sucking Dar es Salaam. So Dar es Salaam is part of Pwani, I think. Though nowadays it's it's made it's made that way. Dar es Salaam, it's kind of like another region. Then Pwani is another region. But I think long time ago Dar es Salaam used to be part of Pwani. That's what I think. And uh, so today we're going to talk about the Kazim Zumbu. Now, why they tell Kazim Zumbu? Kazim Zumbu is among the places that you should go and have like great photos, have like great travel, have like hiking kind of stuff. Actually, that is the best place for hiking. I really did go last time, but for real, when I went for hiking, oh my god, I think I kind of like hiking, but at the same time, I just do it for my health because if I just don't do it, then who's gonna do it? I'm gonna be the one who's gonna do it anyway. So, one of the things that you should do is going to Kazim Zumbu. Kazim Zumbu is a really tiresome place, but it's a beautiful place for you, you really wanna enjoy. One of the pro trip, pro tip that I wanna give you if you go to Kazim Zumbu and you have a person who's just like photogenic, or you want to take pictures be sure to use your phone or just a simple camera of course don't carry big lenses like the way i did with a lot of bags oh that was very tired dang if i remember those memories they are big memories they are good memories but they are very tiresome memories like if i remember i'm like oh my god why did i even take all that into that consideration why did i even carry all that i was with my cousin shout out to him so literally, Kazem Zumbu is around the place and even you can go up to the high top place and you will see the view of the restaurant, which is very awesome. It's a good view by the way. If you haven't seen I'm going to show you right now and I hope you enjoy So be sure to subscribe because there are more places that you should be visiting. And the other place that you can visit when you're here in Dar es Salaam is Dar es Salaam Zoo. Dar es Salaam Zoo is a little bit far away so you have to use the uh, the ferry, ferry transportation to go there. It's, uh, it's in the other place called Kigamboni. So be sure to check. Uh, the free transportation for those who actually um for those who actually what should i say 
for those who are actually foreigners, of course most of you guys who are watching are foreigners, but if you are Tanzania, you don't have to worry. There are some who think you already know it. It's a little bit far away. So for people, so people who are actually foreigners, you shouldn't worry because the transportation fee for foreigners on uh, going there, like on the ferry park, is not expensive. It's almost around five US dollars, if not three. It's very, very cheap. Very, it's like one US, not the one of course. It's like three, if it's not three, it's like almost uh, five, I think. So it's, 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 not, it's not something that you should worry about. But the interest on the Dutch Rams, I think that's why you're gonna get a little bit worried about because it's almost around 11 US dollars, if it's not 20. In those lines, you're gonna get paid. You're gonna pay for that. So another thing is the National Museum. Yes, you had me correct. The National Museum is another place that uh, that actually you should visit. For example, I did go there myself and I did review and see the place how it is. So if you haven't seen it really, and if you aren't sure if you wanna go or not, be sure to subscribe or be sure to go and check in the channel and check that video for yourself. I really have a lot of things that I've done there. I have eaten an ice cream as if it really, really makes sense. Actually, I've gone and I've seen the place. I've seen people taking places, taking pictures of that place and I really was eager to go and I did go and it's a good place that you can see the history of Tanzania and other places like Uganda and all that stuff. How, if you're really interested in such stuff and if you're really interested, you can check my video and I have a lot of details about it and how to go there itself and where is it available here and the rest. So the other thing is the food, Nino's. So yes, there's a place called Nino's in Tanzania. So Nino's is known for its food. Now there are a lot of places here in Tanzania that actually make food kind of Nino. But of course it's not the issue about the food. The issue is about the location of those places and the issue is about the expensivity and the quality that you're getting. Nino's is among the places that I found their food is actually of a good quality. So if you're actually interested in eating good food, go to Nino's and enjoy the meal. So the other place is Fun City. Okay, this is number seven. <laughs> I'm reaching number seven. So number seven is Fun City. Fun City is a little bit far away from the Arisa mainland. So it's uh, in Kigamboni. So when you want to go there, you should really like uh, look for a help, someone to take you there. And if you're not, if you're not sure of uh, what transportation to use, you should check my video. I did when going to Fun City. I explained all the transportation that you can use there and how generally. Making it very simple, it's just the local transportation. You'll be able to reach there and you need to ask the locals. Don't be scared because they'll give you good directions. Just be careful on who you ask. And one of the things is, Fun City, what do you find? In Fun City, you're going to just find the water swimming pools. So if you're interested in like those swimming pools and those diving things, like the slides, if you're interested, you should just go. And if you want to know more details on the pictures and the place, how it looks like, be sure to check my video. Check my video. I did totally very detailed and very long, almost like around 14 minutes video, just explaining and showing around how the place looks like and you're gonna enjoy it. The other thing is, number eight, it's Water Park Water World. Yes, you had me correct. Why am I insisting? Because when you come to Tanzania, I'm not expecting you just going every day to this place, this day, animals, animals, airplanes, airplanes. You need a refreshment. Water World is among the places that you should go for refreshment. Water World is kind of the same as Fun City, but the only thing is that the time, not the time, the place that is in Water World, Water World, they kind of have a lot of places that you can use for slides, but not in a Fun City, they kind of have this another uh, taste whereby there is a mix of a swimming pool and they have these things rotating around. If you haven't seen, even on my Instagram, I did post things from Fun City, so be sure to check that out. If you are following me up, you are gonna go, you are going to get all the details for sure, and you are going to see from. You're going to see and judge if it's really worth it for you to go or not. So Waterworld is a place that is full of a swimming pool rather than those swings that you can get to which, are, which children play with. But Waterworld is more of the water park whereby there's a water disco, like the water coming out and then people be like dancing and music, things like that. But they don't have those swings for babies. They, they do, but they're just very little and like just a small place. Now the ninth thing, oh my god, I'm even getting to the ninth thing. So the nine, ninth thing that you, okay, we are on the eighth minute, oh yeah, almost going to, so the ninth thing is Bongoyo Island, yes, Bongoyo Island. Now for those guys who have heard me talking about Bodhi Island and Bongoyo Island, they are kind of 
literally almost like a nearby actually they are nearby they are nearby islands why am i advising you for going to bongoyo island you may ask me because i've already recommended you mbodi island right yes go to bongoyo island now why bongoyo island bongoyo island is kind of far away but in bongoyo island it's rarely you find people you find few people so those people who are actually looking for places that are actually it's an island and the water is clean yes the water is kind of it's clean of course compared to compared to Bodhi Island. If you wanna go to such places like go to Bongoyo, Bongoyo, though Bongoyo Island, it's a little bit expensive on the boat that you're gonna pay. You're gonna pay the tax for the government, which is the same as Bodhi, but the transportation going to Bongoyo is under expensive. Especially when you're just like two people or three people. But when you're four to five people and you guys are together, it's very cheap. I actually did also plan to go to Bongoyo, Bongoyo but I didn't go because of one reason. I found myself that I was the only person who was going to Bongoyo Island and they told me to pay 60 garden thousand actually they started by 80 thousand which is very expensive then later we talked we talked almost one hour later it came around one one no not one it came around forty thousand, and still i had an option of going to Mbodi island so i had to go to Mbodi island for the second time so uh, all those videos going to Mbodi island and wanting to go to Mbodi island i did a video for that so if you're interested be sure to check this video by the way if you haven't known there are a lot of videos about tanzania so be sure to check this out and lastly but not least is salad for days you had it correct there's a place called the salad for days salad for days is another place for eating so those were who are interested for kisinia we call it in tanzania kisinia is it Kis kisinia yes kisinia so the, those who are interested to go for eating kisinia what is kisinia by the way for those who haven't known it's a huge kind of bowl it's not a bowl it's like a plate whereby they mix a lot a lot of food there and you kind of pay a fair price it's like almost around fifty thousand US. 50, sorry, 50,000 Tanzanian shillings. So it's kind of a fair price with what you're getting. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and found this video very informative. By the way, I'm gonna mention them right here very fast for so those who are interested. So the things to do in the RSM, there is these places that you should visit. The Karyakow Market, Mbodi Island, Kazim Zumbi, Dresam Zoo, National Museum, Food Ninos, Fan City, Water World Water Park, Bongoyo Island, and Salad for Days. Hope you have enjoyed this video. Until my next time.